Hello guys, today we are going to try something different. We want to uh, make use of this magnifying glass and see whether we can use it as a camera lens. Okay, you have seen my Afghanistan box camera before. If not, please click on the link on the top right hand corner uh, to see my Afghanistan box camera video. Okay, I'll be using this uh, uh, PVC tape to tape the magnifying glass to this uh, lens block area and then uh, try to tape some more around the rim so that there will be no uh, light leak at this area. Okay, so let's keep start doing it. Right, it will be a very uh, homemade approach. Yeah, but this is uh, experiment okay so how do we determine the f-stop of the magnifying glass lens right we can use this simple formula that means the f-stop is equal to the focal length um, we can measure this from by focusing the lens on a, at infinity and measure the distance from the lens to the ground glass where a sharp image is formed the diameter is the diameter of the magnifying glass lens right so the diameter of the glass lens, magnifying glass lens is about uh, 100 mm or 10 cm, right? Okay. So now we can see a sharp image on the ground glass. So it's uh, focused uh, at infinity. Then we can measure the focal length. Okay, so in terms of the focal length, um, this is the distance from the lens itself to the ground glass where a sharp image at infinity is being formed. Um, this is about 250mm as we can see here. So the aperture, the f-stop will be focal length there by the diameter of the lens. So that will give us uh, f equal to uh, 250 there by 100 so it's about uh, 2.5 right so the aperture of the magnifying glass lens is about f 2.5 so we'll use that as a starting point when calculating our exposure okay so for models i have a uh, pikachu the piggy bank and the colorful ball as my model for the shooting media i'll be using this uh Uford RC paper, uh, this expired photo paper, so I'll try it. Okay, so for the shutter control, I am going to make use of this uh, again uh, DIY lens cap that I have for another lens. Right, I'm going to just use it to cover the magnifying glass. Hopefully, that will stop the light from going in. Okay, just now we have calculated the aperture of the magnifying glass to be about f2.5. Let's take a reading of the scene to see what kind of shutter speed should we use okay. so here we see that uh, the shutter speed is 0 0.3 second at f2.5 ISO 3 we are using ISO 3 because we are using photo paper okay let's see how this uh, will turn out let's go Okay, now the paper are loaded. Um, I'm ready to remove the landscape for about half a second. So, and let's see how it goes.
Okay, so this is the photo paper negative uh, shot from the uh, Funny Scum Box camera. So now we will try to use the Shamonix 4x5 camera together with the magnifying glass lens and we will also use the uh, Shanghai 4x5 film to take a photo. Alright, so you can see that uh, the magnifying glass is ready to tape out All right. using black tape. Okay, not the most beautiful kind of thing. Uh, we just do because we are doing a quick test, so I just use black tape. Okay, so now the Shanghai 4x5 ISO 100 film is inside. So let's try to take the exposure now. So for the shutter control, I'm going to make use of two dark slides to control the exposure. Uh, the two dark slides has a gap in between. So as this pass through the lens, it will um, open out the lens for the light to hit the flame. And then we'll make our exposure from there. Right? And the second slide will actually cover back the flame. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm ready to process the film. I have my HC110 Dilution B developer. Uh, this is the fixer. This is just a Uford Rapid Fixer 1 plus 9 and this is plain water which I will use as a stop buff. Okay, so the two pieces of film has been loaded inside this uh, Peterson Orbiter color print processor. If you want to find out more about this processor, uh, check out the link on the top right hand corner where I did talk about this uh, processor in one of my last video. So for the developing, I will develop it at uh, 20 degrees C for 7 minutes. So let's go. I started the timer and then I will rotate the processor to agitate the chemical. Alright, we'll come back in seven minutes. Okay. So the timing for the developing is up, so let's pour it back into the container. Okay. And pour in some water. This will stop the developing action and at the same time also remove the developer from the firm area so that our fixer will last longer as it will not be mixed with any leftover developer. So for the water bath is not the timing is not critical, maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. And after that, we can pour in the fixer. Okay. So the fixing time is out. We have to pour out the fixer. And 
and pour in some water. Uh, this is the clean water. Again, this is to wash away the fixer that's on the flame. Later, we'll do a final washing. Okay, we can see the negative here. And this is the negative inverted in Photoshop. Well, what do you think of the result? Personally, I found that uh, this is uh, fun. It's something different from what we always been doing and using. Uh, it took us away from the standard uh, technically well manufactured lenses and try something different. But let me know what you think of this video and what are your thoughts on the photos that I took. Thank you. Okay guys, this is the end of the video. Do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Please also comment, like and share out this video. So take care and I'll see you at my next video.